Welcome back guys, thanks for tuning in, thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me and as you can see, looking at some NBA 2K18 via the prelude here in 2KU and this is where I've been spending most of my time because you know I already told you guys I was unable to get into the prelude but however since then, and that was a nice play I ran right there, but since then you know guys have sent me and, and girls, shout out to Crunk Girl, they've sent me videos on how to reset it so I could actually you know get into the prelude so I appreciate that but I'm not that concerned about that per se you know because I'm more of a my league type of guy so I really just want to dive into the gameplay and see how that feels so this will just be a quick impressions man you know I cannot review it obviously you can't tell everything about this game just using the prelude you know you got to play against other teams and you know, play against users, etc., etc., before you can have a, a full review. And everything that was displayed in the blogs, you know, you can't really see all of that with just being limited here to the 2KU. But what I will say is, right off the bat, a lot of what has been advertised in terms of, you know, the blog that Mike Wang put out there, I'm, I'm seeing it. You know, the gameplay is definitely a lot looser as far as you having more freedom. I don't feel as restricted or really don't you know feel restricted at all in my motion and my movement and you know being held back or being caught in a force field. I haven't seen any of that. I can't say that it's not there, but I'm not seeing that. I'm not really seeing the those situations where there's two man animations that are clearly overriding the situation. Not seeing that. Just like it said in the blog, you know, it said that there were scenarios where, you know, there's an, they were they were animation heavy. And it's cool for them to even admit that because that's been my biggest gripe. One of my biggest gripes to 2K basketball is that it was so animation heavy. A lot of times animation would take over, override. It, you know, you're stuck in it. You can put your controller down. And they're, they're saying now that that stuff is gone. And for the most part, and I say for the most part again, guys, because it's impossible for you to judge it just off of this. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing those situations. I have freedom. The dribbling is very responsive and the user control is very responsive. And, and that's that's great because this is one of the things, you know, for those guys who actually, you know, take the good from both games. This is what you've always heard a lot of us say about NBA Live. Live definitely is not on the same level as a 2K but NBA Live did a good job with giving you user control. That's been one of their, their strong suits. And then even, you know, with basically trying to alleviate or eliminate the two-man sequences the best they can, that's been something that they've done fairly well and are doing well this year as well. But to see 2K get to that as well, wow. With it already having all of the bells and whistles that we like, this is shaping up to be a very, very good game, man. From early, you know, my early playing with it, you know, just just playing here in 2KU. Now, there's a couple things, man, that I, I still see that could be issues. You know, this one is, is one that every game that you play has the same problem. I did a separate video about this. You're still going to see the body clipping. And I mean, it's it's pretty bad when it's one on one situations, particularly one on one dribble situations. You know, the heads are merging and the bodies are merging. That's, that's pretty bad. And the reason why it's it's more of a tough situation, in my opinion, in a sports game is because of that fact of the one on one interaction. Sometimes it doesn't allow you to do what you're trying to do. You know, you can't really play defense when the arm is going through the, the stomach or your arm is going through the, the ball. You know, so it still suffers from that. Uh, likewise, with NBA Live, NBA Live has those same problems. But again, I think maybe that's a technology thing. I don't know. But, you know, we have to mention those things. But the ball tangibility as well has improved. You know, I'm seeing a lot more improvement with blocks and, you know, just the ball trying to be passed in the traffic and you're seeing more tips and things like that. Ball tangibility is looking a lot better as far as the physics. But again, there's still situations where I have seen the hand go through the ball, et cetera, et cetera. So those type of things, man, are still pain points for me right now. But even looking at what I did right there, you know, like the, the new controls with leading guys to the pass. I mean, leading guys into the lane and there's, you know, some new, new mechanics there. They've rearranged some of the controls as far as play calling and things like that. The game just feels a lot more, you know, fluid in motion. And that's really my only, you know, one of the biggest gripes I've had with 2K is that 
it was animation heavy and i know i already said that but again that's really been one of my biggest issues with them is the two-man sequencing and this gameplay right here is very loose man i'm loving it i'm loving it so my early thoughts on it gameplay feels very clean now let, let me say this i'm not a, a 2k hardcore or 2k extremist so there's going to be some people that might not agree. There's going to be some people that's going to say, oh, well, this is still bad or that is still bad. It's possible. Maybe it's the stuff I don't notice. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions on early playing with the game. Uh, it's going to take a little more than just playing here for me to really see what's going on with it. But yeah, very strong showing to me. It feels like a better game. It feels, again, more user control and I'm not feeling restricted. And the one thing that I still will be looking for is whether or not animations can be interrupted. You know, are you able to still dunk through a person or, you know, are you still caught in a past animation and can't get out of it? Those would be the things I'll still be looking for. But so far, so good. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And yeah, man, like always, I definitely appreciate you guys sharing your comments there. So all right, that's all I got, man. Quick in and out. Very simple. I'm going to keep playing and see what I find out. For you guys that haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and I promise it will never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one, but hey, we'll catch you in the next one.